Hey everyone, Gator Mom here. I hope you're having a fantastic start to your summer. I wanted to do a fun little review for you today on a couple of Inkwell Press items that I just recently got. I wanted to try their meal planner. I had seen a couple of posts on them and a couple of Instagram pictures and I was dying to try this meal planner. And when I was in looking at it on their website, I decided to splurge and try their notepads as well. So I wanted to do a brief, quick review for you today on how these items are set up and my initial thought and review on them. And then if anybody would like to see a follow-up as to how I'm actually using the planner or how I'm like the notebooks just go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below and I would be happy to do a follow-up a couple weeks down the road for you I want to go ahead and start with the notepads and get them out of the way so I can get into the meal planner this is their weekly kickstart and their daily docket notepad you can purchase these separately or as a set together I actually wanted to try the weekly kickstart a lot more than this daily docket but since they had the set option I just went ahead and splurged on both of them I um, am a big planner girl. I love my Erin Condren Life Planner. Those of you that follow me on Instagram or maybe Facebook or even a couple of reviews that I've done here on YouTube will know that I've been using that planner for about a year now. So I use it a good bit day in and day out. Um, I like to use it. So I'm not sure that the daily docket will be a good fit for me, but I like the concept because if I'm out and about, especially in the summertime and I don't have the ability to carry my big Kiki K planner with my um, Erin Condren or whatnot in it, I have the option to use this daily docket. So if I want to just grab it, say something for the day and just have this notepad so I don't forget anything, it's a nice alternative to a daily planner. So this here, like I said, is their daily docket. You have the space up here to write the actual date that you're on, as well as circle what day of the week that you're in. They give you an appointment section, task section, and errands. So for appointments, you have a section for your morning, your afternoon, and evening. And then, like I said, an errands and a task section. I really like the colors of this notepad. I like that these um, shapes kind of go darker at the top and then down to lighter. So if I really want to separate it into something I don't want to forget to do for hubby or a task for the kids it has that contrast there so it's really appealing as far as to the eye and then you also have a big open broad note section which is awesome for all of those extras you just don't want to forget this is great if I am running a whole day's worth of errands on the rare occasions that I just have a lot to do and I maybe don't have the kids with me I can just grab this and go so We'll see if I end up liking it or not. Um, also down here, I wanted to touch on the note section. You have your hydrate spot, so to make sure you get all of your water for the day. I think that that's a cute little extra they added in there. The quality of these notepads are great. The paper is nice and thick. It just feels really, really nice to the touch. Then you have your weekly kickstart, which I think I will use a ton of this summer. We have a 12-month at-a-glance calendar on our family central station if you will it's like a big bulletin board where I have folders for each kid and then I have a big 12 month station and that the purpose of that calendar is so that my hubby and I can stay on task as far as an outlook as to what we're doing that month or that week if there's camps or um, shows or sports um, if we have any type of trips planned so we'd use that 12 month at a glance so with summer being here I think I'm going to use this weekly kickstart a lot it will keep me a little bit more organized as far as on the same page with hubby and I a um, little bit differently than how we keep on track during the year. So the weekly kickstart here, you have a place right up here to write the date, and then you have a square for each day of the week as well as your weekend. So you can plan here any type of play dates or appointments or vacations or what have you on these spots. Then you have a, a spot up here for your top five. So most important five things you want to remember or reminders or however you want to utilize this space. It's just kind of an extra um, important spot for you up here. And then you have a nice long task list. And this is what I think I'm really going to use because because they've again color coordinated it so nicely so you have three different color sections that go from darker to lighter and I will probably utilize this at first glance I'm not sure exactly of course I haven't really dug into using it but I'll probably have a section for myself for my hubby and then for the kids so if there's a specific task that I need hubby to do for me or vice versa we can write it up here for each other and it's just a nice little weekly reminder for us to be on the same page so I think this weekly kickstart will get a good amount of use in my household. 
Um, now I want to go ahead and show you quickly the meal planner, which was the whole purpose of my Inkwell Press um, haul, if you will. So this planner here is awesome. It is a nice size. Um, I wish I had something here actually to compare it um, to for you. Those of you that have the um, Aura Kylie cosmetic case, it's a little bit about the same size as that actually. That's all I have um, right here at the moment. But um, I can put the actual dimensions in the description box if anybody wants to um, know. But the cover, the front and the back cover is both the same and they're really, really hard um, kind of cardboard like um, cover with this spiral bound over here. It's nice, it's slim line, and it goes easy in and out of all my bags really easily. So I like it a lot. Um, definitely first impressions are, um, are good for this one. Then in here, actually I have it upside down. Open it up from the front for you all. So on the front cover, you have a spot here that says time to eat well, and this planner belongs to, so you put all of your information there. And then opening up the first page, you get right into your meal planning. So the whole planner is set up exactly the same except for a couple of extras that they have in the back for you. So you have a spot here to do your meal planning. This is your week at a glance. You have a spot for um, every day of the week, Monday through Thursdays up here. You have Friday through Sunday, and then you have a spot for breakfast ideas, lunch ideas, and snacks, which I really like this section here because being home this summer with kids, I'm running out of lunch ideas. We're eating the same sandwiches every day. Breakfast is just really, really quick. So I like this section to kind of spice things up a bit as far as the summertime. And then you have a spot here you can write the actual week that you're in. And then you have this little spot down here at the bottom where you can write the actual date. Or if you want to say a meal plan with a little bit of a theme, I might use mine. We do like a Mexican night once a week in Italian. We always have... Um, spaghetti one night and taco night and so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to utilize this space here for but um, I will probably use it for something along those lines or extra notes that I want to write down here. I'm also going to be starting back up my um, 21 day fix so I might actually use this for tracking some of that as well. So you can use it however you see fit. I like that it has that little contrast there to really kind of get creative with your meal planning. So after you have your meal planning blocks for the week, your very next page, you have your grocery list. So you can plan on one page and flip over and have your grocery list on the next. And this is great because you can take it just right with you to the grocery store and have everything that you need right in one. You have a place for your produce, beverages, your breads and grains. This one here is for snacks, dry goods, and bakery. Then on this um, page you have baking and dairy products, canned goods. You have some extras over here as far as household needs and beauty and pharmacy. And then your freezer, seafood meats, refrigerated items, and your spices. So it has every category on here. I like the way that it's laid out. I think that they did a really good job as far as organizing it. And I think it will be great to actually use as far as grocery shopping. I like, again, that it's right next to your meal planning for the week. And then I like the concept of having it all together. So every week when you're planning, if you need to refer back to maybe something in the past weeks, you can do so. So I like having all of this organized here. So the whole planner is set up exactly the same as far as your meal planning blocks and then your grocery list. The colors do change a little bit throughout the planner, which is nice. And then right in the back, you have a couple of extras that they give you. You have a few sheets, one, I believe it's three or four, of um, holiday meal planning. So this will help you as far as prepping for those holidays that you want to plan something special for your family. There's an appetizer section here, a main dishes, sides, and desserts, and then it breaks it down as far as the recipe, the cook temp, the oven, or cook time, the oven temp, and then the person in charge. So if you're doing kind of like a potluck or you're having family over and everybody's bringing something, this will keep you nice and organized. And it's a cute little quote up here that says, more prep equals less stress. I love that. And then you have your battle plan right next to it. I like that it's um, directly next to the holiday meal planning. You have a 30 day prior, 14, seven, one day of, and then the day of. So this just kind of keeps you organized if you need to be picking stuff at the store or you know, however you're doing it prior to leading up to the day of your holiday meal, which is so nice because things are so chaotic around the holidays. It's just nice to have it all organized here. So you have one, two, three, three different holiday meal plans there. And then you have this section, which I think was a great idea to add in this meal planner of 
your takeout places. So it says, let's get takeout, yum, tonight. So I liked this little graphic. And then you have a place here for your restaurant name, the phone number, and then your favorite dishes. So this was a great kind of all-in-one go-to spot for those really quick nights that you need something. And then this is one of my favorite extras that they put in the back of the book. It is a seasonal chart. So up here at the top, you have winter, spring, summer, and autumn. And then it goes through all the months of the year, and then you have all of your different fruits and then all of your different veggies, and it color coordinates it as far as when these specific items are in season. So when are your apples gonna be the freshest, and when should you buy cauliflower? So just kind of gives everything a nice big glance for you, which these items I never, I never would have known when they were in season without this chart, so I think it's a great extra. Then another item that I'm excited for in the back of this book because I'm constantly grabbing my phone when I'm wanting to know conversions as far as liquid ingredients or dry ingredients. So they give all of that right here for you. Like two tablespoons equals an ounce, eight, pi eight pinches is about a teaspoon. So it breaks it all down for you and it's really, really easy to see. So I like that extra as well. Then you have a spot back here as far as when to buy organic and when it maybe is okay to skip. We are not a big, huge organic eating family, but I do like to buy fruits and vegetables organically when it is important and when I can get them. So this kind of breaks it down as far as it says the dirty dozen and the clean 15. So these are when to buy and when it's okay to skip as far as recommendations on organic food. Then over here, you have a little food expiration cheat sheet, which is so awesome. It kind of tells you what a sell-by date is meaning, a best before, a used by, and a coded dates. So it gives you a brief overall on what they mean when um, it's stated on the foods. And then a spot here for your refrigerator and freezer settings and what your humidity controls mean and as far as what you should keep in your crisper drawers. So that again is just a cute little extra they have in there. And then the very last page of the book is the breakdowns of the different cuts of meats that you could get as far as beef or pork. It'll show you what you have um, as far as each part of the animal and what the actual different cuts are. So again, another cute graphic back here, just a nice little extra. And then they give you a card that will has their um, website on it and then a place for you to put in your how-to. So they have tons of different reviews on here on their website, so definitely check them out if you want a more detailed or kind of another um, review on this. So I hope you guys found this review helpful for those of you that were itching to see a very fast review on this meal planner. And again, um, if you like the video, just comment below and I can do a follow-up a couple weeks down the road with how I've been using it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can get all the updates and see more of my videos. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll talk to you soon.